what's up guys, it's Ariana and welcome to my college Q&A. So I made one of these Q&A videos before but this is just after my first year of college but now I'm about to graduate. And I think it's time to impart some of my wisdom on you guys. <laughs> to get in the spirit I'm wearing my DLSU shirt, I go to De La Salle University, Manila, and I took up marketing management, if you guys didn't know. Okay, anyway, I have a few questions that I received from you guys on Instagram, and I'll be reading them off my computer. Alright, here is my first question. It's from Nicole Gandia underscore 26, and she asked me, What was it like during your first year of college? What were the struggles you faced, and how did you overcome it? So, in La Salle, for the first two terms of college, you're with your blockmates. They're pretty much your classmates for all the classes that you have. And on your third term, you start picking your own schedule and you pretty much kind of separate from them. But because you're in the same course, of course, you can't be classmates with them. But what was it like during my first year? It was definitely scary because you don't know what's going on. You don't know how professors grade. It was a bit of a culture shock because I know how rigid it used to be in high school and college is a little bit more free. I enjoyed it. I loved it because I'm glad I got to spend the first two terms with my blockmates. They really made my college experience one of the best. It's great because even up to now, we're one of the closest blocks that I know from our, you know, our course and I'm glad that they're friends with me until today. I think this is really the time to go and push yourself to try new things such as, you know, joining an org, making new friends, uh, outside of your circle of friends, especially if you still do meet up with your high school friends and to really focus on your studies because this is the time where you really get to learn something about what you want to do in the future and learn about yourself as well. It will really reflect on how your study habits are. <laughs> Next up, so here's a question from one and only Jossa. She asked, what is the most important lesson in life you have learned in college? <sighs> okay, at least for me because I was a working student, I think time management is essential. It's really important to have your priorities straight, you know? Focus on your majors, focus on school. There is time to go and party. There is time to go and hang out with your friends. But at the end of the day, remember that you're in college because you're there to learn. But not only about inside the classroom, but outside. You learn your social skills, you learn how to adapt in different situations. I think it's great joining an org because it kind of gives you a reflection of what real life would be but in a college setting. Sophia underscore M, she said, was it hard maintaining good grades and having a YouTube channel all at the same time or did having a YouTube channel affect your grades? Maintaining the grades for me wasn't such a difficult thing. I love school, I love to learn, I'm such a geek. <laughs> for me, I felt like school was getting in the way of my YouTube channel in a sense that if it were up to me, I would make a video every day. I'd make three videos a day and I'd post them every day. It's just that I didn't have time because I did have to prioritize school. So I think rather than YouTube affecting my grades, it was more of my grades or my school affecting my outcome online. Of course, I did have MTV and OPM TV that I was working on as well, which got a bit difficult because I had to make sacrifices and I had to turn down some projects or I had to skip school just to compensate for the other. Ivana Ivy Cruz asked, Nakaka stress po ba ang mag college? Any advice para po sa akin coming freshman in college? Thank you. Or this is, is college stressful? Do you have any advice for incoming freshmen? I think college is just the right amount of stress. It's impossible to have a stress-free college life because with anything in life, there are going to be challenges that you will face. And I think stress is important to have in college because once you're in the workplace, it's going to be more difficult than what you're experiencing in school. So I think this is the perfect time to go and really push yourself, push <laughs> not past the limit, but to push yourself to see how far you can go because believe me, if you push yourself in college, once you get into the workplace, it won't be as difficult or uh, as shocking when you're there. My advice to freshmen in college is really to just enjoy your first year. Don't be too afraid of trying new things because you have three or four years to kind of figure out what you want to do. And you have so many ways to figure out. You have your friends, you have your teachers, you have so many different classes. Guys, relax. Sophia Tentativa said, knowing you're on YouTube, you have your own brand and college work, how do you manage your time? Three things you've learned what not to do in college. It's crazy you're about to graduate college. I was watching your video since you just left high school. Congrats. Oh my god, thank you so much, Sophia. 
Okay, three things of what not to do in college. Number one, don't party the day before you have a test or a final. It's not worth it, girl. You can party any other time. I didn't say that I partied, but sometimes I would go out or hang out with my friends the day before I had a major test. So I wouldn't do that. Two, avoid an all-nighter as much as possible. This is gonna sound so weird, but I've never pulled an all-nighter in college. And by the term all-nighter, it means that I've stayed up all the way throughout the night until the morning or until the sun has come up to work on something or study. For me, sleep is so important, especially because I have to manage work and school. So I'm not gonna waste any moment not sleeping. As any college student will tell you, sleep is gold. So if you have time to sleep, do it. The best way to avoid cramming and all-nighters is really to just not procrastinate and do it early. And third, what not to do is to not try new things. Sometimes you feel like you're in a bubble and you don't want to go out of your comfort zone because you know what makes you comfortable. But really, guys, this is the time to do any and everything you possibly can while you're in college. You take advantage of job fairs, you talk to your professors. This is really like real life that's more controlled in a school environment. Jellica Ann asked me, did you prepare for your entrance exam? Because she's gonna take her entrance exam tomorrow, pray for me. Well, I'm praying for you, Jellica, good luck to you. Of course, I did study for my entrance exam. I took an exam review uh, for DLSU because I know it's the most difficult test, right? But the thing is, the reason I took that one was because I wanted to get into Ateneo. I did get into Ateneo though, I just ended up choosing La Salle. I know it sounds weird, but I had an epiphany that when I stepped onto the La Salle campus, I was like, oh my god, this is where I belong. So yes, I did prepare for my college exam the day before the test. I didn't study anything, but I made sure to really like study well. I mean, if you're gonna study, this is the time to do it because this is what's gonna get you into your school. Once you study so hard for the entrance exam and you're in, that's it. You can take your rest and then when you get back to school, go back to studying. Faye Roar asked me, I know you juggle work and studies. Were you able to join any clubs or have any extracurricular activities? So in my very first term of college, I joined an org. It was a marketing org. I did become a creatives committee for an event, you know, designing some pubs, coming up with some concepts and stuff like that. And then I kind of became inactive because that is the same term where I started working with MTV. So my second year, I kind of took it easy. I didn't do much in terms of extracurricular activities. I guess my work was my extracurricular was going to concerts and interviewing artists and things like that. I didn't pursue volleyball anymore like what I did in high school because I was on the varsity because it's just it's, it's asking too much of me. I know that I would not be graduating now if I had joined volleyball, and I don't think that was the path for me as well. But in my very last year, I joined an advertising org, which I loved. I was also a creatives committee for that. I loved doing that. It, the thing is, I did become an officer for that org because I applied a year too late. It's because the year that I become an officer is the year I'd be graduating. So. I didn't bother anymore, I just joined for fun, and I enjoyed my experience. There's nothing wrong with that. I think being an officer would have been fun. It's great for the resume, but it just wasn't in the cards for me. But of course, I was glad that I did it. It's kind of a regret in a sense that I wish I did it earlier, like in my first or second year. But I'm happy with how things turned out. Okay, so hello, Ina Rodriguez asked me, how do you manage your time given you're a vlogger, influencer, and at the same time, a student? Okay, so what was really important was that I made sure that MTV and OPM TV was very flexible with the schedule. I'm so glad that they let me have you know my weekends to work on videos. And then my free time, if it wasn't studying from Monday to Thursday, it would really just be relaxing. <laughs> I wouldn't put too much pressure on myself to do so much at once. I know how much I can deal with. I didn't want to push myself to the point that I would break down. I've had breakdowns since college, what do you expect? Especially when it's finals week, it's the most difficult because professors are giving you projects left and right and you have to deal with incompetent group mates. But <laughs> it's all manageable if you know how to manage your time. What really helped me was a planner. I would not have my life sorted out if I didn't have 
Google calendars or my calendar on my phone or my agenda. So Lexa Robles basically just asked me, is it hard? Girl, <laughs> is it hard? Yeah, it's difficult. I mean, for me, the most difficult were all my math subjects, such as accounting. It was a struggle. I'm not gonna lie. But personally, I'd say I'm a good student. Like, I like to study. I like to do my studies. I like homework. I get excited doing projects. My majors, I don't think they were that difficult. But of course, if you are in a course that is not something you really enjoy or that is difficult, like, you know, medical school or law it is gonna be a bit difficult and challenging but of course if you have your goals and you have motivation to achieve them you can do anything no matter if it's hard or not justine underscore campo asked me how do you study well make sure to take notes in class ask for the powerpoints make sure you have friends and group mates in the class you never know when they can come in handy when you need materials Marielle Malixi, <laughs> who actually goes to school with me but is in a different course she asked me what's the most YOLO thing you've done in college ha 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 uh, okay, I'm not gonna say it's the most YOLO thing, but it's I think it's a series of things that I've done. For a whole term, I felt like I really wasn't learning anything in this one class. It wasn't even a major, it was a floating subject, meaning it's something like English or math that's not really in relation to my course. The professor was so boring, I'm sorry, she was. And all the material she gave in advance or gave after, so I could just study it after, she'd give like quizzes and tests, but nothing really that I felt was challenging, so I pretty much cut her class more than I should have <laughs> on several occasions with other classes as well. On days where I felt like I didn't need to go to class, I wouldn't go. When you're on the Dean's List, you have unlimited cuts, so being on the Dean's List really helped me cut all those classes, but you know, when you're in college, sometimes you need to give yourself a break. What was really cool though is that in that particular class, I got a 4. So sometimes it's not about <laughs> attendance. But don't, don't follow me guys, it's really better to just go and attend the class. You never know what you could miss, but quite frankly, I don't think I missed much. And the most YOLO thing maybe that I've also done is trying to study for tests right before the actual class so I'd only have like an hour and a half to study and I would not know that I had a test I'd be like oh my god like I would just find out in the day itself so I'd study right there or the worst was when I had an essay to submit in like an hour so I had to write like a, a six page essay in an hour ho 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 were my brain cells tingling and I've never typed so fast in my life good thing I typed fast it's not coming to me right now, but I felt like I've done a lot of YOLO stuff in college, you know, but what would college be if not for those moments? Okay guys, so that's the last of my questions. Thank you so much. I hope you learned something. Of course, if you have any other questions regarding school, you can leave it in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to help or give some advice. Uh, in totality, in conclusion to all the questions that I've answered, guys, don't be too scared about college. It's so fun. You'll make great friends along the way. It's really important to socialize. Focus on your craft. Focus on school. But at the same time, give yourself time to sleep, to have extracurricular activities. Don't be in a rush to finish everything when it has to be. There is time. If you fail a subject, if you have a falling out with a friend, if you're not graduating on time, it's really not as bad as you think it is because everything in the end is a learning experience and even though it may look easy for some people it really isn't everything is always challenging and i'm always learning something new all these experiences have molded me into the person i am today i definitely would say that i did not come out the same person i did as when i came in i felt like lasalle has shaped me into a better person become more flexible with my time, become more sociable, and um, really just hone my skills for the real world. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any video suggestions that you'd like to see in the future, you can leave it in the comments down below. And if you want more of this content, then please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button down below so that you can get a notification every time I post a video. Thanks guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!